people so people are bombarded by all of these images and videos of really high intensity workout routines mm -hmm. especially at late night tv there's all of these programs that promise you you're going to get results in just a few months yeah but the exercises are incredibly advanced yeah so what happens when a beginner buys into that and, and tries to start there as opposed to, to doing what we're doing yeah yeah i mean i've seen beginners try to do say insanity or whatever straight up the cuff and it's the stuff is really hard on your joints and and things and most people can't even get through the warm-up of those things without dying um and and also if you if you don't know how to do the base movements like if you can't squat properly like trying to do a jump squat uh, it's just it's going to ruin you and um just totally discourage you from continuing you know i think Getting your movements right, the, the, really at the base, is super, super important. Do you think um, people fall into the trap of just wanting really fast results, so they think they need to jump to like the super advanced stuff right away? Yeah, for sure. I mean, we live in a society of instant gratification, and we want we want to look hot right now. <laughs> <laughs> we want to do that crash diet that we're going to lose ten pounds in five days and and get a six pack. Um, but yeah, stuff takes time. It takes time to build muscle. It takes time to lose weight and to do it safe, you know, safely and effectively. So do you think there's a chance that um, like the true beginners are going to look at the moves and the exercises that we're doing in this and potentially not see the value? Like, is there a trap with that as well? Yeah, for sure. I mean, um, I, you know, I've started with lots of beginners before and you know, you get them to do like small little mobility exercises or teach them how to squat with their body weight. And even though they haven't got it yet, they haven't mastered those basics, they're very, very eager to like jump to the crazy things that they think are gonna give them the results. Um, but yeah, no, it really takes time. And like you will burn yourself out if you just jump into that stuff. In terms of injury and that, what do you put yourself at risk for specifically when you do something like that, when you jump to a level that you're not physically ready for? I mean, yeah, there's, there's, um, if you have stiff joints, and a lot of people who don't work out are like really stiff in their joints, and, and if you try to force those joints into range of motion that they're not used to, you're going to pull on your ligaments and your tendons, um, you're going to pull your muscle, you're going to sprain it, um, yeah, stuff like that. And if you don't have the coordination, you can just fall, you know, fall over and break your leg. Like it's happened. Like I know people who have started doing crazy stuff and really hurt themselves really seriously. So in this program, we're working not just on fitness, but things like balance and agility. Yeah, and for sure, for sure. Range of motion. Um, yeah, I think these things are really overlooked. Um, like, like if there's one mistake I see m most people making in the gym, it's not warming up adequately. Um, not working on their mobility and range of motion, not foam rolling and not stretching. You know, everyone just wants to do the beast mode stuff and, and then they forget about the other fundamental things. So good morning or good evening, Body Rockers. Welcome to day five, the final day of the first week of um, this beginner's challenge. Big congratulations for making it this far, making it through. I hope you've done every day and you're still following along with nutrition and getting your hydration, drinking lots of water. Um, now today's workout is all about flexibility and mobility and uh, yeah, getting working on the full range of mo 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 full range of motion in your joints. Um, so today's a little bit of yoga, a little bit of Pilates, a lot of stretching. Um, so it's a little bit of a lighter day. All the exercises are going to be we're going to be sitting down or or something similar. And um, I hope you've done your warm up. So every day you should be doing your warm up. Then there's the burnouts, and then there's also the stretching. So don't forget to do all of that so you have a nice complete program. Okay, so. Let's get started. I'm gonna start this timer up. Um, here we go. So the first exercise, comfortable cross-legged position and start a prayer and you're just gonna be reaching up, exhaling down. Reaching up, inhale up, exhale down to prayer. Inhale up and bring it down. Now here I really want you to think about stretching out that back, reaching up to the ceiling, bringing your hands down, inhale, Think about what you're doing here. Get some movement in those shoulders. We're doing this for 40 seconds. Doesn't have to be fast. Rest. Okay, so let's have
have a little rest here. Um, getting a position for your next one. Legs out straight, you're gonna put one foot on your knee and bring it up to this sort of position. We're gonna do like a glute rock here. Okay, so starting in five seconds, this is our setting position. Go! And you're just gonna rock side to side. Okay, so we'll do this, this side for this round, and the second round we'll get the other side. Um, now what you wanna be feeling here, it's a little bit of a stretch in your butt and hip area, up through the back of your leg here. We're also getting some movement in our lower back. So rock side to side as far as it's comfortable. It's not particularly strenuous, but you should get a nice stretch. A couple more seconds. Rest. Excellent. So that leg that was just on your knee, stretch it out towards, uh, yeah, stretch it out that way. Other knee, uh, foot in, into uh, your crotch, I guess. <laughs> We're gonna be doing some forward reaches to stretch out our hamstrings. Again, working with the breath. Go. So on each exhale, you're gonna reach out to your, to your foot. Inhale back to straight. Exhale. So we're trying to build, get some length in the back of that leg. The hamstrings are typically a very tight spot for a lot of people. If you can't quite reach your foot like I can, if, if you only come to here, that's fine too. Whatever, wherever you can feel that stretch, whatever works for you. But each time you do it, try to get just a little bit more, another millimeter, get some, get some, a little bit more length in that. Rest. Excellent. So we're gonna flip over in to um, uh, into all fours. Next is like a, a lower back and core stability exercise. It's called bird dog, silly name, but great exercise. Um, so with your right hand and your left leg, this is just Go. a static hold. You're just gonna hold this out for 40 seconds, just like this. Really trying to work on that balance. Make sure your hips are stable, that you're not like dipping to one side. Um, building a nice strong foundation here. Push through your hands and your knees. Just a nice hold. Should feel something all through your back and your core area. Really great exercise for your whole core and balance. Rest. Excellent. We're gonna, next is a half vinyasa. So, um, little preview, you're gonna start from uh, downward dog, slide it up, to upward dog, and back, okay? So we're still in rest, but that's what it looks like. Okay, so start here. Go! Slide up to a chaturanga, up to upward dog, and all from your knees. So this is just a half vinyasa. So inhale here, hold your breath, exhale, inhale, slide back, really get a nice reach with your hands here so you can feel something in your back. Nice stretch up, a nice stretch through the abs. This is something stolen from yoga. Rest. Excellent. And we're back to the beginning, so come your seated position a little bit differently this time we're going to work um we're still going to be doing our breasts but we're going to be doing it with a side side bend alternating to each side so starting here go big inhale and then exhale bend to one side inhale bend to the other side get a nice stretch up your side here inhale Move with your breath here. So we're inhaling, exhaling, out to the side, bending over to wherever is comfortable. One or two more. Last one. Rest. Excellent. 
Okay, so other side for the glute rock. So I'm gonna place my right foot on my left knee here. We're still, in, we're still in our little rest period. Okay, coming into position right here. Go! And rocking to each side. Um, you can make this exercise more dy more dynamic by bringing your foot closer to your to your butt, or if it's too much, bring it out a little further. Again, looking for that stretch out here, outer hip butt area. Moving, getting some movement in your lower back and spine. Rest. Good. So that foot that was on your knee, stretch it out other foot in towards you. Again, so we're gonna exhale and reach, inhale, come back. <clears throat> so big inhale here, exhale, reach Go. forward. Inhale, slide it back to a nice straight back, exhale. Inhale to upright, exhale. Trying to go for a little more length each time you do it. You might feel a little tug in your lower back as well. That's okay. Last one. Rest. Good. Um, coming to all fours, bird dog. So last round, I had my right hand and left hand, uh, left leg extended. So the, we're gonna do the other side. So it's a static hold of 40 seconds. Go! Find nice, good foundation. And right here, we're just gonna hold it. Looking for a nice, straight, straight from your hand to your foot. Nice, strong line. Back and core engaged. That's it. Of course, you can come down for a little break. Or come back up when you're ready. This is harder than it looks. It's more work than it than it looks to maintain this position. Rest. Excellent. Last exercise, guys. We're back to that half vinyasa. So start in your child's pose right here, stretching those arms out. Few relaxing breaths right here. And we're gonna move with our breath again. Go! Inhale. Exhale as you move back down into child's pose. Inhale, up into cobra. Exhale. Inhale. Should be a nice, smoothing, relaxing move. If you can't get quite as high in the, uh, the upper dog here, um, you can just come to wherever is comfortable like this. No need to bend as far back as I do if it doesn't feel good. Rest. Guys, and there we go. That's your mobility warm up for today. Um, it was all pretty easy, it was all on the floor. Um, I Don't forget to move on to the, the full stretch video. Thanks for joining me. You have two days off. Be good and see you. Um, on Monday for the next. Okay, thanks. Congratulations, your workout is complete. <laughs>